What's up, everybody? It's your boy Clayton Philpo coming at you live Gus <laughs> with Gus Light, who just came in. And, oh yeah, he's got his water. I got my water. I'll even one up you a little bit. I got two waters. Uh, to give you guys a little bit of background, obviously you've come to the video to learn about EAS, and uh, what an EAS is is when a Marine or a soldier or an airman or whatever is ready to get out of the military. So Gus is actually going to be getting out pretty soon, and we're going to talk real quick about some frequently frequently asked questions about EASing. That's hard to say in a row. But so Gus, if you want to start it off, what do you have any questions about? I, I, I very much want to know like when's a good time to start applying for jobs. Okay, so I, I would take take a step back and say when's the best time to start networking for a job, like putting your name out there that like, hey, I am going to be getting out. I would say when when we when you're within one year of getting out of the Marine Corps or the Army or whatever, to start dropping hints and being like, hey, I'm getting out soon. I'm starting to build my resume. Here's my skill set. Um, to actually like physically apply and put an application in, I would say no no more than four months out but you don't want to be like in your last two weeks before getting out frantically trying to get a resume in hey what about linkedin have you discovered linkedin i have heard about it because someone was like oh use linkedin and i was like what the hell is that right. hey clinton filipovich i'm a loyal fan what's linkedin <laughs> so LinkedIn is obviously you guys know it's like a so it's like a social media platform, but not really, but it is, and it's where you just like network your name and whore your body off online uh, and try to impress people with your accolades and, and skill set. A lot of people don't know this, but LinkedIn offers a year premium membership for free to veterans. Whoa, are you serious, bro? Uh, <laughs> so that's something like that you should definitely sign up for if you're a veteran. Like you can even do it while you're still active duty. Uh, all you have to do is uh, just show proof that you served and that's it. And and with that, they actually help you build a resume. They help you apply to jobs, all that shit. Pretty much anything you can give me because, I mean, you've done it before me. Like, that's, that's the thing, too. I don't know what questions to ask because I haven't gotten this situation before. Right. So, if... Anything like I need to know? Let me get some uh, some note taking gear, Sergeant. Oh, get get some gear. Yeah, take a knee. So commonly referred to as TAPS, it's now got a billion different acronyms, I believe. But basically, it's like the two week course you take uh, when you're ready to leave the military, and they're supposed to prep you for like resume building and job searching and what to wear to interviews, and they do a pretty good job. It's a helpful class. It depends who your teachers are, but I recommend signing up for this class at least six months out. But here's the thing. So it is two weeks long and it's super valuable information and you're getting out. And a lot of shops will be like, we can't sacrifice to have a Marine go to TAPS for two weeks. So no, he can't go until the very last minute. Well, first off, to hell with that because you're getting out. So screw the Marine Corps and their priorities. It's all about you now because you're getting out. They're not going to help you anymore. Uh, and two, I would do it at least six months out, even sooner, because there's a rumor that people think for some reason that you have to be within like a month of your EAS to go to TAPS. That's not true. You can sign up whenever you want to. You can go whether you're two years out, whether you're one year out. You can go whenever and do that class. Networking has always been a big thing for me. So even as a Lance Corporal, I had business cards made up. You can do like Vistaprint, uh, Print Dirt Cheap is a great website that I use. Uh, and basically it was just like a card that had my cell phone number, my email, my YouTube, and my Flickr page on it. And to this day, I still get people calling me uh, asking for like a job to be done or asking if I can, if I'm out of the Marine Corps, or if I can be hired. So business cards, marketing yourself, obviously my YouTube is a brand, you know? Yeah, it's, it's hard to market yourself. Like my YouTube is a brand, like Clayton Philpo is a, itself, like that's what people, obviously that's not my real name in full. It's abbreviated because it's easier and it's a brand and that's the thinking behind that. So, oh, backup, have a fallback plan, have two or three fallback plans because chances are your job that you are 100% sure you're going to get 
is going to fall through. Or maybe you were really wanting to go to college and you were so certain that, like, yeah, dude, I'm going to go to college, spend my GI Bill. It's going to be tight. Oh, wait. I missed a deadline to sign up for college and now I'm screwed. Fuck. So have a fall have a fallback plan because it happened to me. Um, I was the job I currently have now with the Air Force fell through. I'd really recommend still the online networking but then also going in person like physically putting on a suit and tie and going to a job fair and trying to find a job. The other thing a lot of people, nobody tells you this, it is hard as shit to get out of the Marine Corps. I'm shaking, I'm pulsating with anger how pissed off it makes me to have to think about getting out of the Marine Corps. Like, they give you a big long checklist, right? And you have to have every single section initialed on it by every different Staff Sergeant, Master Sergeant, Master Guns, Captain, Lieutenant, every swing and you know what in the entire battalion and they're never there and they're never on time and they always give you a hard time i swear to god dude it took me a full three weeks to get it signed out it was and like i don't know what i would have done if i waited a second later i don't know what i would have done so uh, when they give you your checkout sheet your out processing sheet get that shit taken care of asap when you're in the military you don't have to pay for health care you get a thing called tricare but when you leave the military, you have to pay for your own health care. That's an extra couple hundred bucks that you're paying out of pocket that you didn't factor in before. So not only are you getting out and you're no longer making money at the moment, you owe health care bills. You have to pick up the slack on different insurances and stuff like that. Like it is a real life pain in the ass. So do your homework early and look into health care plans. Now, Obama did pass the thing where, like, you can still be on your parents' health care until the age of 25. Thanks, Obama. Thank, thanks, Obama. <laughs> Thank you, Commander-in-Chief. Um, if, you, if you're under the age of 25, I highly recommend you take advantage of that ability to get on your parents' health care because typically it's cheaper and... I mean, I'm not saying suck on the, your mom and dad's teeth because obviously you joined the Marine Corps not to do that. But it makes your life that much easier as you transition into a new job. And many times when you finally get a job, they'll pay for health care. So in the meantime, I highly recommend researching health care plans or if you're under the age of 25, going on your parents' health care plan for a little bit of time. Well, the other thing to keep in mind as far as an expense that you don't typically have to pay, like right now, guys, Gus is in a barracks room. He pays no money out of pocket that he sees go away anyway for this dank living space he currently has, the bachelor pad. You, like, around here, especially in the Baltimore, D.C. area where we live, rent is expensive as hell. Everywhere you go. Uh, so that's something else to consider. It's really important to have a good, healthy savings account when you're leaving the Marine Corps or the Army or the Air Force. Some it, bills. It, it really does help to have a cushion. Like... I will tell you right now, and I'm being 100% honest, the weight of the world feels like it's bearing down on your shoulders when your number one job falls through, which happened to me, and you have no idea if you're even going to be, be able to do the second job now because you turned them down in the first place. So, I mean, when you got bills that need paid, mouths that need fed, I mean, you got to pay your rent, you got to pay your mortgages, it's like... It, you almost feel like you're in a corner, and I'm not going to lie. I was like, oh, shit. What am I going to do? Dude, what am I going to do? You know? Uh, but it works. It, everything works out eventually. It's just have those plans outlined thoroughly. For me, when I applied for the Air Force job, one was a social media resume. When I applied for my Dimfos teaching job, it was a strictly video resume with a highlight reel and everything. So... Especially for us video guys, we have to get highlight reels done, uh, make sure a bunch of people edit our resumes, include all of our awards, all of our uh, big uh, accomplishments on it. So resume writing is very important. LinkedIn will help you with that, but it's nothing beats having a peer edit by a really knowledgeable friend. So one last point to end on, uh, you spent four years, six years, 10 years, whatever time in the military, 
and you've worn the same thing every day. You've worn your damn uniform, wore it with pride, the cloth of our nation, cost you no money. Now, you're going to the civilian workforce, and you gotta buy like a thousand dollars worth of clothes, and I'm not kidding, at least probably six six hundred to a thousand dollars. And women even more so, because their clothes tend to cost more uh, if they're dressing really nice. So, the biggest shocker we find is that guys go to get out and they're like, holy crap, I have no clothes in my closet. I have night shirts, workout clothes, and camis. That's it. So, set aside a budget. So, I'm good. Stock up your uh, your collared shirts, your long sleeve dress shirts. Your, learn to tie a damn tie. Obviously, you should know how to do that, unless you rock the clip on, like myself. Uh, I actually did rock the clip on tie in uniform for a long time. I mean, I could tie a tie. I was just lazy. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, comment below. Tell us what you think. Was this helpful? Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Clayton Fopo. You can follow Gus Light. His Twitter or no Instagram handle is Gus underscore Light. There you go. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. All right? Later, y'all.